In 1989, the sky changed forever. The B-2 Spirit appeared, black, sleek, and invisible to radar. It wasn't just an aircraft, it was a ghost with wings. A machine built to slip through enemy defenses, a symbol of power no rival could touch. But here's the shock. Only 21 were ever built, each one costing more than $2 billion, the most expensive warplane in history. And despite its fearsome image, the B-2 had a weakness. It was too fragile. It needed special climate-controlled hangars, too delicate to sit in the open, too costly to fly without perfect conditions. A stealth legend, chained by its own design. So the question remained. How could any bomber ever rise higher than this icon of fear and power? Now imagine the answer. A jet invisible to radar, able to launch nuclear or conventional strikes, able to sit outside in the rain, ready to fly from almost anywhere. The B-2 was the past. The B-21 Raider is the future. And in the next few minutes, you'll see why this bomber will shift the balance of power forever. This is how the B-21 will outclass the B-2 and redefine air dominance for the next 50 years. Back in 1989, a black triangle silently took to the skies. The world had never seen anything like it. It wasn't just a plane, it was a ghost. The B-2 Spirit, America's most secret bomber, had arrived. Built for a nuclear showdown, it could fly undetected through any enemy airspace. Its wings blended into the sky, its radar signature no bigger than a pigeon. It could fly 6,900 miles without refueling and drop precision bombs in the dead of night. But that power came at a price. Only 21 B-2s were ever built. Each one cost over $2 billion, the most expensive aircraft in history. Maintaining them, that was another nightmare. They needed climate-controlled hangars. Microscopic moisture could wreck their stealth skin. Even a rainstorm could ground them. They were too fragile, too precious to risk. America had built a masterpiece, but it was a masterpiece that couldn't go to war without a support team. And as the world changed, so did the nature of conflict. The Pentagon realized something. Stealth alone wasn't enough anymore. They needed a bomber that could do everything. For less money, more missions, and zero compromises. Something cheaper, tougher, smarter, invisible not just to radar, but to entire defense systems. The B-2, once the future, had quietly become a warning. A symbol of what happens when cost outpaces flexibility. So inside secret labs, a new vision was born. One that wouldn't just replace the B-2, it would outclass it. Because next time, America wouldn't build a fragile symbol, it would build a fleet. And as those blueprints took shape, one question drove every decision. What would the ultimate bomber look like if we started from scratch? December 2nd, 2022. The curtain lifted in Palmdale, California. A sleek, dark shape emerged from the hangar. It wasn't science fiction. It was the B-21 Raider. After years of secrecy, America's next-generation stealth bomber finally revealed itself. And this time, it wasn't just a concept. It was ready for production. November 10th, 2023. It took flight. Silent. Clean. Controlled. And unlike the B-2, it didn't need a climate bubble to survive the skies. The B-21 was built for the real world. Every bolt, panel, and chip built for mass production. It uses a digital twin, a virtual clone for updates and repairs. No more one-off prototypes. No more delicate glass cannons. This bomber was born to be many, not a fleet of precious few. The plan. At least 100 bombers with room to grow, each one cheaper, stronger, and stealthier than the last. It flies like a ghost, but it's meant to fight, and not in 20 years. Not someday, but now. It enters steady testing through 2024 to 2025. Not experimental, not delayed, operational. This wasn't the rollout of a plane. It was the launch of a doctrine. One that says the U.S. won't just own the skies, it will dominate them, quietly. And here's the twist. While rivals try to copy the B-2, America's already two generations ahead. The Raider isn't evolution, it's replacement. A bomber that doesn't fear weather, budgets, or enemies. A bomber built to fly, not to wait. 
but to understand why the B-21 won't repeat the B-2's mistakes, we need to look at how it was designed to win from the inside out. In the age of cyber warfare, the battlefield changes every second, and so does the B-21. Unlike its predecessor, the B-21 wasn't built on a drawing board. It was born as a digital twin, a living, breathing mirror of the real aircraft, updated in real time, tested in virtual combat. Want to change radars, swap out weapons, upgrade jammers or countermeasures? You don't rebuild the plane, you just upload the change. That's the power of digital engineering. It's not a feature, it's the backbone of the B-21. The B-2, though legendary, is locked in 1980s hardware. Its software is stitched into systems that time forgot. Retrofitting it is like plugging a Yeber supercomputer into a cassette player. But the B-21, its code is modular, its design is fluid, and every plane learns from every other in the fleet. It doesn't just fly, it evolves. That means it won't need a replacement in 10 years, or even 30. It's future-proof by design. When new threats appear, the B-21 updates. When enemies adapt, it shifts tactics. This isn't a bomber frozen in time. It's a platform built to fight wars that haven't even started yet. That's not just power, that's permanence. And with every simulation, every mission replay, the Raider becomes even smarter. In a world where AI shapes the battlefield, the B-21 isn't just surviving the future, it's shaping it. But stealth and brains mean nothing if the jet sits on the ground. So what did the US change to finally make stealth ready to deploy anywhere, even in the harshest conditions? Stealth was once a superpower, but it came with a price. The B-2 spirit was a masterpiece of invisibility, yet so delicate, it needed a climate-controlled hangar just to rest. Its radar skin was so sensitive, rain, dust, or sunlight could peel away its advantage. That meant fewer missions, longer prep times, higher costs. Now enter the B-21 Raider, designed from day one to be ready for war, not just parades. No more air-conditioned bunkers, no more weeks between sorties. This bomber can sit outside, in rain, wind, snow, desert, jungle, and still vanish from radar. It doesn't need an army of technicians to maintain, or special climate pods to protect its skin. Turnaround times, slashed. Imagine a stealth bomber that's as easy to deploy as a fighter jet. That's the B-21's most radical achievement. Stealth you can actually use. Where the B-2 was a queen on a chessboard, the B-21 is a swarm of knights. Fast, flexible, and everywhere. It's not just invisible to enemy radar, it's invisible to logistical burdens too. This means more missions, more pressure, more deterrence. You don't win future wars with planes that sit still. You win with jets that never sleep. That's the truth the B-21 brings to the skies. Not just stealth, but sustainable stealth. Not just power, but practical power. But high-tech wings still need fuel and funding. So how did the US build all this without breaking the bank? The next answer might shock even the Pentagon. The B-2 was a ghost, but its price tag haunted every mission. At $2.2 billion per jet, only 21 could ever be built. It was a masterpiece, but one that the Pentagon couldn't duplicate. So the B-21 Raider had to be different. Not just stealthier, but smarter to produce. The Air Force set a target. $550 million per bomber in 2010 dollars. Adjusted for inflation, that's around $692 million in 2022 terms. Still less than one-third the cost of a B-2. And here's the twist. This isn't a one-off elite unit. This is a fleet. The US plans to build at least 100 B-21s. That's five times the Spirit's production run. More bombers, more reach, more presence. Imagine 100 stealth aircraft rotating across global theaters, able to strike, vanish, and repeat. Quantity, now paired with quality. This isn't just about building more. It's about flooding the skies with something opponents can't see and can't stop. Because scale isn't just economic, it's psychological. Adversaries don't plan for one ghost in the night. They now must prepare for hundreds, at every hour, from every direction. This is how deterrence is built, not just with power, 
but with the promise of unstoppable reach. The B-21 doesn't just win in the hangar, it wins in numbers, in pace, in certainty. And when 100 Raiders are airborne, the world will feel the cost of peace and the price of provoking the skies. But even the strongest wings need a runway. So where will this invisible fleet rise from? And how close are they to enemy shores? The answer lies in the bases being quietly prepared. Right now, before we reveal how the B-21's basing plan will reshape U.S. global strike forever, hit subscribe so you never miss the future of air power. In the frozen winds of South Dakota, Ellsworth Air Force Base became the first chosen home of the B-21 Raider. Next came Whiteman in Missouri and Dias in Texas. Three hardened launch pads spread across America's spine. This wasn't just nostalgia, it was the foundation of something far bigger. The B-2 had lived a life of luxury and limits based only at Whiteman, guarded like a crown jewel. But the B-21 is built for scale, for movement, for war. Tied directly into Global Strike Command's next-generation doctrine, the Raider isn't just a plane, it's a networked weapon in a global arsenal. Each base forms a triad of readiness, able to launch missions from the heartland to hostile skies. And this time, it's not a boutique fleet but a mass deployable force of over 100 stealth bombers. A force that can fly often, land anywhere, strike globally, disappear silently. Strategic reach is no longer a phrase, it's a presence. Yet as the raiders prepare to her launch from these continental fortresses, a darker question still lingers. In an age of hypersonic missiles and satellite surveillance, can any bomber truly survive the first hour of war? Stealth isn't a feature, it's the B-21's entire DNA, engineered from the start for all aspect broadband invisibility. Not just the front, not just from radar towers, but from every angle, across multiple frequencies, in a contested sky. The B-2 was once revolutionary, but its shape still left weak spots. Radar found edges, heat sensors tracked flares, but the B-21, it's the first true ghost of the modern age. Low observable materials, embedded antennas, infrared suppression, every surface, every curve, every exhaust plume, designed to vanish before detection. Even its maintenance panels are flush, so nothing betrays its presence in the sky. Modern radars, the kind deployed in Russia, China, or aboard Aegis destroyers, they scan in L-band, X-band, S-band, and the radar was built to slip past them all. This isn't just a strike platform, it's a phantom that can deliver devastation and disappear. It's first in, first strike, and first out. And because the B-21 was born digital, its stealth is not just deep, it's maintainable in the field. No more weeks inside hangars, no more fragile coatings, just pure, reliable invisibility. It doesn't just survive in a modern war, it thrives in one. But surviving the skies is only half the story. What makes the B-21 truly superior is something even deeper. War evolves, but most bombers don't. They're born for a mission, then slowly fade into obsolescence. But the B-21 Raider was built to change, forever. Its open architecture isn't just a design choice, it's a declaration. No mission is out of reach. Whether it's a nuclear strike in contested airspace, or a precision conventional attack in minutes, the B-21 can pivot, in real time, but that's just the beginning. The Raider is also a sensor node, an intelligence collector, a battlefield coordinator, a strike commander in the sky. While enemies detect, the B-21 decides. While others retreat, it directs. It's not just flying, it's orchestrating a war. The B-2, for all its elegance, was locked in the tech of the 1980s. Hardware fixed, software rigid, upgrades, painfully slow. But the B-21 lives in software. It can accept new code, new sensors, new weapons, without redesign. Need to launch hypersonics? Just integrate. Need to deploy AI-driven decoys? Upload and go. Need to respond to a threat that didn't exist last month? The Raider downloads the solution. It's a platform that adapts, learns, and grows stronger with each mission. Imagine a bomber so smart, so agile, it doesn't age. It updates. This is the first bomber that will still be lethal in 2025. Without needing a replacement, the B-2 was a monument to stealth. The B-21 is a living weapon of the future, but this comparison reveals more than just progress. The Raider isn't just ready. 
It's redefining what bombers are meant to be. The age of the boutique bomber is over. The era of the mass stealth fleet has begun. Subscribe now for more untold military tech stories shaping the weapons, wars, and world powers of the future. And tell us below, do you think the B-21 Raider is the last bomber America will ever need? Or will this spark a new arms race that pushes the world even further? Your move 